thank you guys so much for attending our 23 spring uh, band concert. Before we get started, I did have a couple of items again for concert etiquette just to review with our audience before we get rolling. Uh, remember, we asked all of our young uh, adults here on the stage, we asked them to uh, execute this concert etiquette when their portion of the concert is done and they are seated with you. So we need all of our adults, please, in setting the same standard. If you, again, have to enter or leave, and remember the concert hall after the program has begun, please only do so, again, during applause or when the performers are changing sets. Uh, please make sure to wait for a break in the concert to visit the restroom. If you need to get those items, remember we do have restrooms that are located right here outside of these doors. Men's down on this end, women down on this end. And further down at F Hall, if you know where that is, there are some restrooms further down that hallway as well. Uh, <clears throat> Make sure again, as needed, please escort again children again quickly out of the auditorium so again the decorum of the concert can certainly continue. And please make sure to remain quiet again during all musical performances. Please turn off cell phones and watches or alarms, or at least again silence them. Please do not distract the performers again by waving or taking flash photography. If you need again to record, we ask you to take all the video cameras, please set those up in the back of the performance space. <coughs> Applaud, again, that is certainly encouraged. Please do so at the end of each program selection. Uh, and I think you will certainly know when that is. Uh, if you don't, you can just look for my hands when they come down, you will know it's time to apply. Um, Please stay and enjoy, again, the entire program. All of these students, remember, they have worked extremely hard, again, from our wind ensemble, uh, also, again, to our jazz band, through our solo and ensemble performances, which you'll have an opportunity to see, and, of course, our percussion uh, throughout, again, the night. you don't want to miss those items. Uh, before I forget, I want to make sure that I give a special thank you to several people, again, all of our band parents, again, they're here. Uh, thank you so much for your support, and our booster club, we could not make any of these things happen in the band without you, we appreciate that. Dr. Eric Figueres, again, our Fine Arts Coordinator, uh, Dr. Gregory Hall, our Assistant Superintendent, Dr. Richard O'Malley, again, our School Superintendent, and of course, our principal, Matthew Dowdell, again, here at West Lawrence High School. Without further ado, the group that is seated, sorry, the group that is seated in front of you, again, is our wind ensemble. Uh, the group in front of you is going to play tonight uh, what uh, we are gonna call, again, very ambitious music. Um, if you are new to the band world, uh, Band music is graded um, on a scale of one to six. Um, and again, as we performed that concert performance assessment this year, I challenged these guys and we went in grade five. Um, we played in some grade four and five literature combined. Um, and we got to the spring concert and we challenged them once again and we said, I think you can do immeasurably more than that. Uh, so we gave them grade five and grade six music. Um, the two pieces that we're gonna play uh, these two are called Haven Dance and Niles Dance. These are two of three um, songs that are called children's songs. Uh, Mr. Holsinger, who is the composer of these pieces, he wrote these, again, uh, compositions for his children. So the first one that we will play, in Haven, um, he wrote, again, for his younger daughter. Um, and then Niles, he wrote for his very rambunctious uh, little boy. And then the one that we are not playing tonight, Grayson, uh, the students wanted to play that one. We, we spent some time working on it. It was just a very challenging piece. Um, so again, Niles and Hayden Dance. The thing that you were going to notice about these two pieces, especially if you know maybe again you've come to our concerts before, you're going to notice these pieces are significantly longer. Um, these two pieces range about 14 minutes uh, between the two pieces, um, which is unusual. Usually pieces are probably about three minutes. Um, that adds to the level of difficulty. Um, for the performers that, that are playing up here. These pieces are challenging in the fact that they have lots of hidden mixed meter in them, they have lots of meter changes in them, and they are both uh, really, really fast. Um, so this has been, again, really fun to work on with these guys. Um, and before we get started, um, I did want to take a second. Uh, we did, uh, this year we lost, again, a, a dear member, again, probably of, again, the band family here, which is, again, Mr. Michael Jones, um, who is my band director. Um, here when I was at West, he was the band director here again at West for 16 years. Um, a great, great person. Um, and I told the, the students, it's, it's so funny that the last time this piece, uh, Niles Dance, was played here at West um, was when I played it uh, under him here um, at this program. And I had no idea that we would be um, in the circumstances we were with Mr. Jones, but I told the students this, and I think you'll see this too, he would have been extremely proud um, of these students and the dedication they put into this piece because this is really, really hard literature and these guys have done a great job. So uh, hopefully we can do it justice.
So if you couldn't tell, that's a little different than our normal uh, music here. It's a little bit long. Uh, believe it or not, again, that is considered to be Mr. Holsinger's tame child right there. Um, so all the parents, they get that. Um, again, the uh, Niles dance, the one that we're going to play next, like I said, this is considered to be his rambunctious child. So if anything, this one is going to be a tad bit faster. Uh, and he's going to get a lot more involved in it. 